Welcome to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where you can learn and be inspired by real-world examples of how technology is transforming businesses and reshaping industries in a language everyone can understand. Here is your host, Neil C. Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast. How are you all doing, gang? Remember, I do have a few invites for the new social media app called Clubhouse. I think at the moment it is invite only. So if you'd like an invite, let me know. Maybe we can work out how it all works together. So give me a shout if you do need any help with that. But after recently reading that 60% of advertisers are planning to shift their ad dollars from linear TV to either CTV or OTT in 2021, combined with the fact that among that group, 81% cited targeting and efficiency as a reason, I wanted to learn more about programmatic CTV video ad growth, the technology behind it, and how it's impacting their clients' ad spend towards that space. And also, of course, how the pandemic is changing things there. But if you're outside of the industry, don't worry. We're not going to bombard you with acronyms such as OTT and CTV, but we're going to dig a little bit deeper and talk about it all in a language that anyone can understand. And Hopefully together we can learn how technology is transforming this space. Today's guest is Mike and he is the CEO of Digital Remedy who have proved that success can be found with the right combination of both people and technology. It's an incredibly cool story so buckle up and hold on tight so I can beam your ears all the way to New York so we can find out more. So a massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Sure. My name is Mike Seaman. I am the uh, CEO and founder of a company called Digital Remedy. Um, We are a digital media tech-enabled solutions firm. Um, And what we do ultimately is we provide solutions for advertisers and marketers looking to get their message across on the internet. We provide that with super high efficiency um, across everything, display, search, social, um, and especially OTT and CTV, which is starting to boom. Well, one of the things I always say on this podcast is technology works best when it brings people together. And on your website, it says that Digital Remedy is a proof that success can be found with the right combination of people and technology, which is why I had to invite you on the podcast today. But can I ask that you set the scene and tell me more about the the kind of problems that you solve for your customers with people and technology? You know, ultimately, we look at the landscape as a very high technical um, enabled marketing space. And ultimately, there's lots of technologies that exist in this space to allow you to market your services and you need people to operate those technologies. Um, It'd be wonderful if we lived in a world where you just recorded a video commercial and you clicked a button and it knew what to do and everything worked. Um, The beauty of it is um, it's all there, the targeting, the metrics, um, the optimization, everything, but you got to do it. And not every company, not every agency, not every marketer's specialty is operating in that landscape. And so what we do is we create tools on top of all those technologies to make it easier to understand where your marketing dollars are going, understand how to optimize it, how to operate it, and ultimately we provide the people to get you the greatest efficiency for your marketing spend. And I believe that you co-founded the company while still a, uh, still a, a college student at Hofstra University in the early 2000s. So can you share that story and, and what, what it was that put you on this path? Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a very uh, interesting story nonetheless. Wish it was still 21 years ago. <laughs> Miss my youth for sure, because it was a fun time. But yeah, ultimately, I would say in the in the very late 90s when I was still in high school, you know, this thing started the internet, <laughs> ultimately. And, uh, you know, and what is this? This is really interesting. I was a kid, I had free time. And, you know, other than work and school, I wanted to play around and I had a computer. Um, so I learned how to make web pages and I just having that entrepreneurial spirit, um, just really wanted to make money and figure out this thing. And I thought the internet was cool and there was going to be something that happened. So, um, ultimately I made, you know, entertainment based websites, all kinds of things, video games and celebrities and stuff like that. And as soon as advertising started, I was selling space on those websites and found it really interesting and was making money, um, as early as my senior year of high school and, my freshman year of college. And 
ultimately I saw the need for a lot of webmasters and people starting websites for that sort of help, right? How they sell their space, how they focus on that. Cause most of them are focused on building their traffic, um, which was small at the time because the internet was small. Um, and there weren't a lot of people on the internet. And so at some point I got to a place where it just didn't make any sense anymore to just grow websites. It made sense to partner with other people who grew their websites, um, help them sell advertising. So ultimately, as we started working on that, um, as I started working on that, I started bringing in partners and started founding what I guess could be called one of the first ad networks um, back at that time. And through there, dealing with the bubble, dealing with all that great stuff and getting through it all, we managed to constantly evolve in this ever-changing landscape um, called ad tech. And here we are in 2021, and I recently read that 60% of advertisers plan to shift their ad dollars from linear TV to either CTV or OTT. And among that group, 81% cited cited targeting and efficiency as the main reason. So can you expand on that and maybe explain the acronyms just for anyone listening that are outside the industry? Yeah, absolutely. So let's see, where do we begin? I mean, when you look at the early days of this sort of industry and things shifting to online and print going to digital and all those pieces, you know, it's no surprise that video was going to move online. And we've been seeing it for a long time with streaming services and things like that and ad supported streaming services. And, you know, ultimately people cutting the cord. Of course, the pandemic sort of made that happen a lot quicker. People were looking to save money and people were looking for more entertainment and ultimately streaming services provided both. Right, they provided the ability to not pay so much for cable television anymore, and and gave you the opportunity to see a lot of new uh, entertainment, consume a lot of entertainment. Um, as for the acronyms, CTV is connected TV, um, so a connected TV to the internet, and OTT is over the top television. Um, so ultimately, that sort of streaming capabilities, and you know. I think the pandemic allowed it all to happen a lot quicker, the cords to get cut quicker, new services to open up and people to move towards this streaming media quicker. And what marketers are ultimately seeing is that, you know, the traditional way of buying spots on television with limited data and limited understanding of what it's really doing for their bottom line, you're now seeing the ability to not only gather that data and understand what it's doing, but then optimize that data based on targeting. Do I really want to target these states? Do I want to get more granular into specific locations where my service is more wanted? Do I want to understand the consumer a little better that's actually watching the program and maybe even tailor the commercial down to specific subsets and groups um, of neighborhoods or people where my message can get across more efficiently? and understand if it's really doing its job. And what OTT and CTV can do is it can really bring back that data to allow you to understand if that's happening. And I'm curious, are there any specific trends in the OTT and CTV space that, that you're seeing already? Look, I, I think I think the main trend is that consumers are flocking to those services. That's that's the ultimate main trend that we're starting to see, that it's, you know, it's something the people want. And where the people want and the eyeballs are, right? That's where advertising is going to flock. And so we're definitely seeing that trend shift and move more and more than, than ever before. And like I said, especially with the pandemic and people being sort of quote unquote locked indoors, you know, you're seeing that shift happen a lot quicker, right? People always, I think, thought previously, yeah, that's great. I, I need to cut the cord. I need to remove myself from cable and use the streaming television, whether it's Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, TV, and those things, maybe they didn't move as quick because they're busy, right? They were going out, they were seeing entertainment elsewhere. But but with the uh, pandemic kind of keeping people locked in and less concerts and non-sporting events and things like that, they were like, you know what, maybe now's the time to just do it. And I think since we're seeing that happen so quick, I think marketers and advertisers are really rushing to, you know, get to where the consumers are consuming. And like you say, the pandemic has really sped up the the uh, the speed of that shift there. But how, how has the the pandemic changed the availability of CTV video impressions? Is there anything uh, anything there that stands out? Um, look, I think it made it more abundant. Yeah. Ultimately, you know, with people flocking to the at least the ad supported 
streaming services. Like we know Netflix is not one of the ad supported ones from a, from a 30 second commercial standpoint, um, as opposed to a Hulu or uh, YouTube TV, things like that. But I think what we're seeing is twofold. I mean, one, you know, those services are able to control more, right? Where we fell into, you know, a commercial problem on TV was DVR, right? DVR ultimately allowed people to skip commercials and not watch them where on streaming services, what you're seeing is the streaming companies can control that, right? So whether you uh, downloaded or, you know, recorded something on a streaming service, they're able to implement those commercials. So one, we're seeing more um, and consumers not having the ability to just skip stuff. And two, we're seeing more consumers flock to those services. So we're seeing um, a lot more activity, um, which is making the targeting more interesting, which is making the optimization more interesting, and ultimately making the reporting a lot more interesting, which is what we provide with our flip product. And so how is the growth of programmatic CTV, uh, CTV video ad growth? How is that impacting client ad spend towards that space? Is Presumably, you're seeing a, a huge impact there. Yeah, I mean, we're, you know, we really, you know, embraced with our OTT CTV product flip, you know, in the past year, um, building that up and really putting a lot of effort um, in the R&D and into growing that product out. And what we're seeing is just that huge influx, um, not only of the viewers, but of the dollars, right? I think what advertisers are ultimately seeing is wow, I can, not only can I make so much more decisions and really understand what I'm getting so much more than traditional TV, but the ROI is there um, and they're starting to see it and they're able to play with it. And they're starting to think, you know, maybe this is where my TV dollars need to shift to. And as someone that's working right in the heart of the industry, is there anything that particularly excites you about the road ahead? And of course, the role that Digital Remedy will, will ultimately play in that future. I think ultimately that that sort of movement and shift into that space is what we always hoped for. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of the, you know, past decade has been really focused on, you know, TV shifting dollars to the internet. And what we've seen is it hasn't been so much a shift, more so just additional spend and things like that coming to search, coming to display, but there hasn't really been this huge shift. Right. As things grew, maybe the TV budgets didn't grow, but they didn't shrink. Other mediums grew, more experimental stuff, um, digital out of home, like I said, search, social, all of these products taking pieces, but not of that traditional TV budget. I think where we're now really starting to see in OTT and CTV, um, you're really seeing that shift now happen. That what everyone was truly hoping for. And I think it's a, you know, it's a twofold promise that's taking place. You know, one is just, like I said, the natural shift of the consumer, right? If someone's not watching TV, well, there's no point in advertising to them on a TV if they're not there, right? If nobody buys a magazine, why put an ad in a magazine? Because no one's reading it. So the less people that are watching TV, the less people to connect to. And when I say TV, I mean the traditional cable television airways as opposed to streaming. Um, so one, we're just seeing that natural shift. That's where the consumer is. That's where you have, that's what you have to use as a technology. And two, just the, the just amazing part of, you know, really understanding the incrementality of the ads you're spending on the OTT CTV space, being able to really view that in reporting and really optimize that, although it's very new. And, you know, we are one of the first few companies that embrace technology to provide reporting like that to advertisers. We're just seeing them clamor hand over fist for that kind of data and that kind of information to really see great ROI. Um, on their ad spends. So many big talking points from that conversation. And for anyone that would like to carry it on and dig a little bit deeper into any of the subjects we've talked about today, what's the best way of finding Digital Remedy online? Maybe checking out a few videos or even contacting your team if uh, if they've got any questions. Yeah, of course. You know, you can always go to our website at digitalremedy.com and you can, you know, reach out to anyone that works there, fill out any forms, really get us to follow up and provide you with some, you know, real insights if you're just exploring or even connect to a salesperson to kind of see how it all works, pricing, um, scalability, et cetera, to really see how you can take your next marketing campaign to the next level. 
Well, I love what you're doing here with both people and technology. And I'll be honest, before we spoke today, I didn't know too much about the growth of programmatic TV, uh, CTV video ad growth, how it's impacting clients' ad spend uh, in the space, but also how the pandemic has just changed the availability of CTV video impressions. Incredibly cool. But more than anything, just thank you for taking a little bit of time and sharing that story with me today. Yeah, absolutely, Neil. It was, a, it was an absolute pleasure. And like I said, we're here, our flip products here to deliver some real results with some real insights. And we'd love to explore that with anyone interested in really digging into OTT and CTV marketing um, and getting some huge troves of data to really sift through and understand how they can maximize their advertising spend. So Digital Remedy has flip a proprietary OTT and CTV platform that enables users to track statistics such as app installs, site visits, checkout amounts, and store visits. An OTT doesn't have to be set it and forget it. Flip is actually helping maximize the ROI of ad campaigns and prove the value of the fastest growing digital marketing segment. And Flip also has this full OTT attribution tracking feature stack that is also helping brands to understand their audience behaviours. And that attribute in tracking also, I believe, integrates with your funnel to track both OTT and CTV viewers as they interact with your clients' pages and stores. But as I said a few moments ago, this is not my area of expertise. I've learned so much today in a short conversation. So a big thank you to Mike for coming on and clearing up a few of those acronyms and also sharing which trends to watch out for with OTT and CTV attribution. But I'm conscious that there's going to be a lot of you listening out there that are much more experienced in this sector than myself. And I want to dig a little bit deeper and find out more about your insights, your experiences, and invite you to come on the podcast too. That's how it works, gang. If you need anything, if you want to share anything, my email is techblogwriter at outlook.com. My website is techblogwriter.co.uk, where you'll find even more information and over 1,500 interviews. But other than that, I'll return again tomorrow with another guest. So until next time. Don't be a stranger. Thank you for listening to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast with Neil C. Hughes. Remember, technology works best when it brings people together.